Praise the Lord. Purpose pushes. God bless you guys. Good to see you all. Thank you for joining in with Pastor K on today. Amen. If you are new to the channel, amen. Hi, my name is Pastor K. And if you want to be a part of the Purpose Pushers family, amen, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and that notification bell for upcoming videos. Amen. But I'm back. And I'm back with another video on today. Amen. In today's video, the topic is Travelling Intercessions. Amen. Bearing your brother's burdens. Amen. In other words, a travailing intercessor. Amen. And what I mean by a travailing intercessor, that's someone that's bearing someone else's burdens. Amen. I'm here to tell you on today, I felt so down. I felt so bad on today. Hallelujah. And I had to call my daughter and ask her. I say, honey, it even got so bad the way I even got mad with God. Amen. I got so upset with him because I was like, Lord, wait a minute. Why is my mind going in this place? Why am I feeling like this? Why am I going through what I'm going through Oh, today? Amen. So um, I, I called my daughter and I told her how I was feeling. And I said, I'm, I'm even getting mad, you know, getting mad with God because I'm talking to him and it seems like he's not answering me. Amen. And I said, all I want to do is just go in my room. I don't want to go nowhere. I'm going to my room and I'm going to turn my TV on and I'm going to lay down and I'm going to watch it. Amen. And you know what? She said, Mom. That's depression. She said, that's a that's depression. I say, you know what? When I got off the phone, well, I say, you know what? I said, I don't know who burden I'm carrying, but I know I ain't got no business feeling like this. Amen. I know I don't have a reason feeling the way that I'm feeling. But when I tell you we serve a mighty God, we serve a good God. Because, see, I had came in, in, in contact with one of my um good friends of mine. Amen. And I began to share with her on how I was feeling. Amen. And she said, I am so sorry, but I've been feeling this away. Amen. But I'm here to let you know on today that we are here to bear each, each other burdens. It's a difference between casual praying and when you are an ordained intercessor praying on the behalf of others. Amen. It's a different because, see, when you're casually praying, you're using words. But, see, when you are um, an intercessor, when you're travailing and, and praying, you are weeping. You are wailing. You are mourning. Amen. You're in agony when you begin. To, when you begin to pray, you're travailing, amen. You're feeling pain, and, and you know this ain't the way it's supposed to be, amen. So on today, you know all of a sudden, if you get hit with a depressed stage, if you get hit with a weighed down spirit, amen, a lonely spirit, an unwanted spirit, amen, sickness begin to attack your body, or a bump begin to grow in an area you know it ain't got no business growing, you begin to get head, you begin to get a headache, or either um someone is in danger, you're bearing somebody else's burden, amen. And sometimes we can't explain on how we're feeling because it's somebody else's stuff that we're bearing but in um galatians galatians chapter 6 it began to tell us to bear each other's burdens amen so when we begin to bear each other's burdens physically we talk to them but spiritually we don't know what we're going to get hit with amen and we thinking it is for us but it's for our brothers and sisters it's what they're going through so we got to begin to pray and we got to begin to weep for our brothers and our sisters amen jeremiah 9 and 1 says talks about that welling jeremiah 9 and 20 Ezekiel 21 and 12, Ezekiel 27, 30 through 32. It teaches us how we begin to wail. It teaches us how we begin to travail. It teaches and it tells us how we wail in the spirit for others. We don't know why we feel in the way that we feel. And we don't know why we're going through the stuff that we're going through. But the Bible is telling us now that we are bearing somebody else's burden. Amen. So that's why we're travailing. We're travailing just like over there in Matthew, Matthew 23 and 37, when Jesus began to cry out for Jerusalem. When he began to cry out, he felt the sins of the world. Amen. So we feel the sins of the people. We feel the hurt of the people. So we're going to travail and we're going to go through these pains. Amen. But just know on the day what you are feeling is not of you. It's not for you. It's somebody else's troubles. It's somebody else's pain. It's somebody else that's going through. Amen. So what we got to begin to do is pray and release it to the Lord. Amen. We got to begin to pray. We got to begin to, to touch heaven because see, we're going to tap into another realm. And when you begin to tap into another realm, when you are able to pray for your brothers and sisters, you don't tap into the travailing intercessor. Amen. You don't became a travailing intercessor. So on today, just because you got that bump on your leg, it's not yours. Just because you got that headache, it's not yours. Just because you feel and depressed. It's not yours. Begin to release that thing to Jesus. Amen. Because the one that's going through it might not know how to release it. But on today, God is telling you to release that thing upon to him. Amen. So you can start feeling better. Because we know where all our help come from. All our help come from the Lord. Amen. So trust God on today to know that what you are going through is not yours. 
It's not yours. Galatians 6, it tells us to bear one another's burdens. Amen. So what you're feeling on the day is not yours. We rebuke depression. Amen. We rebuke sickness. We rebuke any type of high blood pressure, sugar diabetes, amen. Knowing that we ain't have this stuff before, amen. We come up against all these strongholds, all these afflictions that the enemy trying to bring up upon our body. We cancel the assignment of the enemy right now on today. I thank you guys and I love you guys. Y'all stay tuned and be blessed.